Hi my beautiful Virgos, welcome to your reading for the month of August. This is your love reading. The general read is already out on my channel, so if you haven't had a chance to see that, you can go and check that out right there. Also, um, if you would like a personal reading, I still have some spots left on my list and I'm doing a discount till the 10th of August. So if you want to order one, you can order with discount. Just follow your intuition, no pressure at all. I just want to make sure that you guys know there is a discount, okay? Um, Virgos, your love energies. I feel that some of you really are coming into the acceptance of things and are also not trying to make something work that just doesn't fit. It's really a soul-to-soul -soul connection or is not. And you're sort of feeling ready to be honest with yourself and others around you. I'm hearing also some of you really going over the, it's like almost a purging of energy of the other person in your energy field. Their energy is coming out of your field and that sort of purging, it can come with some crying, it can come with some releasing, you don't really know why, you, why the tears come, you feel like you miss the person one minute, the other minute, you're like totally fine, it's you're undoing yourself of that energy, of their energy field. So that's really normal, so if you're going through that as a Virgo right now, because some of you really are going through that, if it doesn't connect, it doesn't connect, but if it does, then you know, um, is a process but you are go you are on this journey you're actively walking taking the steps so you are moving forward and soon you will feel a lot better I just wanted to get that out for the ones that needed it um, Virgos we're going to do two different spread we're first gonna jump into the Virgos that are dealing with somebody and let's see let's talk about it what's coming out for you guys and after that we're going to do the single spread so if you want to leave timestamps on like relationships less singles like things like that it's more than welcome okay um i'm gonna try and do the timestamps as well but sometimes i forget or you know i'm just too busy so yeah here's your card what's going on in relationships there's something haunting you I don't know Virgo this is Virgo Sun Moon and Rising you are not sure about something when it comes to your relationships like almost the next step is are you taking the next step and you're like quite unsure if you're ready maybe it's almost um, there's I feel for some of you that too much outside op opinions about your relationship or feel like there will be opinions if you take soon steps or measures like a, a next step i feel that there are too many people in your ear too many people too many opinions too many like oh it should go like this because that's the way it's supposed to go whether it feels good to your soul or not i feel there's something bothering you when it comes to this union you're in whether you just recently really like seriously started dating somebody and maybe been friends for quite some time and now everything seems to change or it's just you know you've been together for a long time and there might just come up some issues so let's see let's jump a little deeper into that Virgo for you guys Virgo month of August yeah four of swords okay so I'm hearing not everything is, a, a, is as bad as it seems. Not everything is as it seems. Some of you, I'm hearing this very strongly, Virgo. It's like somebody's saying to himself, I'm never going to be alone again. I'm, am I ever going to be alone again? Almost in, not in like, hey, I'm single, I'm here, I'm there. You know, it's almost like never alone again, but it almost sounds like that is a fear and i get that from a virgo you guys do need your alone time just like cancers do like we do need that alone time to recharge just as much as virgos like it's a natural ha thing we need that and i have a virgo moon so for me it's extra strong <laughs> um i get that virgo i do get that like maybe you're about to move in and you're like not really sure because 
you feel like I'm, I'm like do I have, am I gonna have that moment of recharge and do I have that moment where I'm alone and and just I can be with my own emotions and things like that or am I just need to do I need to be more open and things like that and moments where that doesn't feel natural to me I'm, I'm hearing all these conversations about something when it comes to a next chapter okay but I do see that this is coming from like I feel I'm feeling overwhelmed feeling like options choices what is the right thing to do to like okay i'm just gonna take some time to really think about this i don't need to jump into anything tomorrow morning i can just take some time to think about this and and ask for some space and this might not even be concerning your relationship it could also be something that has to do with family or your job and you're just a being i feel like this overwhelmed energy of like i just need you know, sometimes to chill and contemplate on what I'm going to do next. Because your birthday season is coming up. Want to set some new goals. Maybe having, you know, some moments of really going over that. Like, okay, I have like these goals, you see. There's like a lot of energy at the same time. Feeling like everything's just falling on you at the same time. What's going on, Virgo? Let me see. I do see peace coming towards this situation all right so even if it gets the most overwhelming it won't it's not as bad as it seems again it comes through let me see virgo we're going to deal with somebody what else coming out oh the deck really just feels very heavy right now here we go yes and then we have the well that's such a beautiful energy of coming to come true it's almost like it's okay to whether you are dealing with somebody or not you you are still your own individual virgo whether you have children whether you got like a lot going on in your daily life you are still that 16 year old boy 16 year old girl that had goals had dreams had visions knew where um you know had that energy of like i'm open to dream i'm i'm like that you that you feel when you're like that age 15 16 of becoming your own coming into your own knowing what you like what you don't like really try and test out things to see what fits me and that never really stops at your own personal journey and yes things got added to that a partner or maybe an ex-partner and it's like uh, journeys and life experience but you are still your own person and that's okay and like that's really coming true it's like hold your own connection strongly and be open to knowledge coming to you like your inner knowledge and your inner wisdom virgo you have a lot that's just what happens we have virgo in your chart you have that inner wisdom that connection to the higher self as like a natural connection when you don't feel the connection you feel out of balance so the well came true. I'm going to read it to you guys so you know because this is a deck that has like two other major arcanas that like, you know, are exclusive only in this deck. So I'm going to, um, you know, share the true um, meaning of this card with you guys. The well is Gaia. The well is a birthplace of ideas, inspiration and transformation. All things are birthed from the creatics and knowledge flows freely to those who seek it. Knowledge flows freely, sorry, knowledge flows freely to those who seek it. Those who seek it go within, seek the knowledge. Basically, it's a nurturing opportunity, nature and creativity. So connect with the with your own energy if you feel a little out of balance in your in your situation go home go within that's where the answer lays come first come to center and then go into conversations with the partner i'm really feeling that that's going to help you a lot because there's a lot more peace coming to you so comes to your union i do feel that there's I'm, I, I can't help but feeling an overwhelmed energy. Like it's almost like you're a little overwhelmed with what's going on. Even though it's not extremely bad. Like it's not. It's more anxiety of like maybe you're very scared to lose what you got. 
for no specific reason. Yeah, two of swords. There's just this moment you need this month aside from your relationship. That's the relationship you have with self. And that one is comes always first. Always comes first. Sorry. So taking that moment, taking that time to follow your heart. Tap into it and ha deal from that. No matter what other people say or what you should do or what it should look like. It's about your own individual journey basically for this month it's it's just a small um you know period of time i'm not saying i'm not seeing anything major happening when it comes to like endings or things like that and if there will be an ending i don't think it's gonna last just keeping it real um i'm sorry to drink something this is such a a different energy you see this is like also with the source nine of swords energy so there's a lot of mental energy going on right here and it's almost overwhelming her here she sits with it she goes with the flow she tunes into the moon energy and goes through those phases and allow it to hold her um pause it's not about holding you back it's not about you should do it differently it's all about just allow to pause sometimes and take some time to self so it's just the key basically this month for you guys happy birthday by the way for the virgos that are you know celebrating their birthday in the month of august i hope you receive something special from your boyfriend or m girlfriend or anything like that okay yes okay i feel we should jump into the singles now thank you so much for joining me if you're not gonna stay for the rest of the reading i love you guys i'll see you back soon okay let's jump in to the singles my single virgos all the single ladies all the single ladies hey <laughs> i'm making a new version for that one let's see Ooh. Ooh, look what came through. Some of you just became single and are still dealing with some sorrow. That was not a pretty ending, or was it? I'm hearing it was necessary. It was necessary, that's what I hear. But the things that are necessary and things that are meant to happen don't always feel that comfortable. It can still leave you a little sad. Okay. So, Tree of Swords, single, still got some healing left to do, purging some energy. And when I was um, tuning into your uh, energy, Virgo, I kept sneezing. I was like, why am I sneezing? And that for me, it's often either my allergies, but they weren't playing up, or it's purging of the energy. I feel that whether you are still going through the phase where you're really undoing yourself of a person uh, physically so yeah, like you're waiting for the divorce to come through or things like that or for you to move out that person to move out things like that more like you know the 3d energy then there comes this moment of okay everything is settled um the, the stuff is like you know um basically done and we got all of those out of the way now i'm here now i've got this new future and i don't really know what to do with it or i don't really why do i still feel and think about this person so often when we both agree oh, then this was the best thing to do this was the best way to go that's like a moment and i feel that this is happening for a lot of you guys is that you're undoing your energy field from their energy field and that sometimes takes time but it also takes that inner journey of really going within and knowing this energy is mine that energy is theirs and reclaiming your own energy and releasing the rest and that just takes some time and sometimes that comes with very good days and happy and knowing where you're going and feeling good about the decision you're making and then that comes with days where you're doubting at the, the choices and then you feel sad and lonely maybe so it's a little bit of a roller coaster but it's all in doing because you're all tuning into all the energies knowing what is yours what is 
theirs or what is the situation and undoing yourself of it that's what i'm getting for the singles but let's see for those who've already healed and i'm ready to open up their eyes like for this next chapter what's coming true for you in august what's gonna happen for my single virgos in august i wanted to keep these readings very short but i'm already on 15 minutes so i don't know what's happening with your reading let's see virgos Single Virgos, what's coming true? Six of Pentacles. I feel you're looking at yourself in the mirror. I was looking at yourself in the mirror and seeing, what do I need? What do I need? What is going on in when it comes to my eyes? Look yourself in the eyes this month. Try and make some time, like five minutes maybe, of just sitting in front of the mirror and looking yourself in the eyes. Are you capable of really looking yourself in the eyes, soul to soul, basically, your higher self and yourself? Are you uncomfortable with that? Are you starting to look at the little things and places that you don't really love about your body and starting to really look at it from an ego point? Based. I'm not going to go too deep into that. Don't get triggered. I'm just saying you're looking at what you look like in the mirror instead of how you're doing in the mirror of your eyes. And I feel that that's like this, what's coming true right now with this card is about equality. And it's about reclaiming your own energy, but also looking at yourself in the mirror. What do I need? What is mine? What is my own? What is theirs? What is my own? It's such an interesting energy that comes through for you guys. But I do feel that you're going to pick up that self-love, self-care, self-value energy of like, okay, now I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to give so much of myself where I don't even know what's mine, what's theirs, what's yours, what's, you know, what's the neighbor's. It, it's like, no, I need to reset this. I'm going to do a reset. Yes, and you definitely are doing a reset. Look at that. Seven of Wands. You are actively out there setting some new healthy ass boundaries. And that's where August is about. It's not about, oh, let's get married. Let's do this. Let's meet somebody. It's about being open with your energy, but really tuning in. And this is a very important part of the singlehood that you're going through. Single is not about, hey, I'm single and I'm waiting till I find the next best person. It's not about trying to enhance yourself for a new partner to come in. Singlehood is not about finding another person. It's just not. It's way deeper than that. It's about, hey, it's a time where I connect with myself, where I can focus on myself, where I can grow, where I can learn, where I can do um, the things that I feel that I'm guided to do. And then along the way, while you're still working on self, while you're still growing and evolving, you might meet somebody that comes to you on a similar journey, with a similar energy, that has the same amount of respect for themselves as you have gained. And that's when you connect. And then there might be a part of your journey that you walk together. You never get on their journey. You never get on their road or your road together. It's still your road. It's still your going and flowing. It's never about, oh, I want to get married and have children and that that it is it. It will always continue your journey. It just goes and flows. And sometimes it's more intense. Just focus on your own energy and on the steps you are taking forward based on the pace you need to walk in. So it's very powerful. And I'm sorry that, you know, you maybe you want to hear different things. But... um I'm just giving the messages. Like, I'm just the messenger. I'm sorry. Don't shoot me. Over. <laughs> Seven of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you are also coming into an energy of like, wow, I do really have certain talents for things. Or I just have a lot of passion for certain things. And I just want to go and flow and find that right now. I just want to follow that feel. So... 
I feel your self-confidence is coming back in your capabilities. You have like a lot of options. It's like you're starting to look at the options instead of the things that are no longer here, are no longer an option. You are opening up to the energy and feeling like, wow, I'm pretty blessed in many ways, right? It's not like your life can start once you find that right person. And it's not the vision you hold anymore or at all. So that's very powerful. I love this. I do love this. This is like important stuff, okay? I know it's not about, oh my God, look at the butterflies. <laughs> no this is life this is serious and this is serious growth and i'm very proud of you guys because you're gonna be a lot happier a lot you're you're transmuting this energy into something physical and something you can work with very very powerful i'm very proud of you guys if you belong to this group i'm so proud of you guys you're beautiful you're strong you're smart and keep going following that pathway absolutely beautiful energy have some one-on-one -on -one connection in the mirror not staring at the things you don't like but look in your eyes how are you doing look at it are you looking away that says something okay Virgos, I love you so much. I'm sorry this was so long, but it, I guess it just needed to be this, you know, this length, I guess. Um, I'll be back soon with your reading for your season. I promise you guys are up first, most definitely. And for now, just have a lovely month of August. Enjoy yourself until your season starts by the end of August. And uh, I hope you just start to... You know, embrace the little things. Just go with the flow, Virgo. I love you guys. I'll see you back soon. And um, yeah, enjoy yourself. Bye.